Hello everyone, my name is Kodamore and welcome back to Godot Basics. In order to explain what the delta value in the process and physics process functions is used for, let's set up an example. I have this player node here, which is simply a sprite node, and I want this player to move to the right across the screen. And all that means is we have to increase the x position of this sprite. So let's go into this script that I have attached, and in the process function that's called many times every second, we can change that position. We'll take the position.x of our sprite, and we will add to it some value. Let's say 5. So we're going to move the player, or our sprite, to the right by 5 pixels every single time this process function is called. And if we run the game, you'll see the player zips across the screen. Now that works fine, except there's an issue. If I had a slower piece of hardware that's calling this process function less often than maybe a faster computer might, or I have a lag spike, this player, this sprite, is going to move at different speeds. And you don't necessarily want that. You want your player to move at the same speed, no matter how fast this process function is being called. That's where delta comes in. Delta is the time between the last call of this process function and the current call of this process function. So if we go ahead and print out this delta value, we should see a decimal value that's around 0.016 seconds between every frame. Except you'll notice that it's not always 0.016 seconds. It fluctuates sometimes. And that means the process function is being called at different time intervals. So how can we use this delta value to our advantage? Well, anytime you multiply by this delta value, you're effectively putting your value into units per second. So if I want my player to move across the screen by 50 pixels every second, no matter how fast or slow this process function is being called, I would multiply 50 by delta. And this means increase position by 50 pixels every one second. And we can go ahead and run our game, and you'll notice that my player is moving at 50 pixels every second, and that will work consistently no matter how fast this process function is being called. So more often than not, you're going to be multiplying something by delta to get it into terms of per second. It's the exact same thing in the physics process function. I hope that helped. Thank you all for watching.